Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you all the fun new Halloween items available at Dollar Tree Plus. Now, all the items, as you know, are priced in the $3 to $5 range. It's kind of like a competing thing with the Target dollar spot, but honestly, I think some of the things at Dollar Tree Plus are nicer. You'll see a lot of light up and sound effect type decorations. They've got decorative pillows, throws, lots of little resin figures, some candle holders, lanterns, string lights, uh, some very nice, very large decorative signs, and of course, a lot of pumpkins. They've just got a lot of really neat stuff to look at, so let's get into it. Okay, so I think these are a really great deal. Uh, these resin figures are only three bucks, which honestly, if you were to get something like this at Home Goods or Marshalls, TJ Maxx, whatever, it would cost you a lot more than three, I'm sure. These are pretty big, they're pretty nicely detailed, and they're painted pretty well. Uh, you can choose from either the double stack skull with the crown, the gold skull with a glittered raven on top, or a silver skull with a glittered cat. All three are really nice little spooky decorations, and uh, they're definitely affordable. Okay, so these doorbells are kind of fun. They light up and they have sound effects. This is the first one. It's a cat, and I'll turn it on here so you can see what he does. Oh, very spooky. And there's also a spider here. Let's try this one out. Oh my gosh, the sound on that. That was so loud. And the last dial is a skull. Let's see what this one does. These are all priced at five. Looks like they've got some more light up items here. These are little plastic figures. They have an LED light on the inside that's supposed to have a flicker effect to it, kind of like a candle flame. There's a skull here, which is really spooky looking. They have a little ghost here who's kind of cute. He's actually not that scary. And of course, there's a classic jack-o'-lantern. These are all priced at five. Look at these cute little Halloween pillows. These are adorable. They have a jack-o'-lantern here, a ghost, and a cat. Uh, they're kind of fuzzy on the front. They feel like a fuzzy blanket. The back is uh, a different fabric. It's kind of more like a satin fabric. Their faces are applique with uh, embroidery around the edges. They look very nicely done, actually. The cat is kind of cool. The fabric on the cat's face is uh, almost iridescent. It's like pink, purple, and blue all at the same time. These are all priced at five. These resin candle holders are pretty cool. They're, again, they're very detailed and they're painted pretty nicely. You can either get a gold one with a skull, there's a black one with a silver snake wrapped around it. That's pretty spooky looking. And there's a black one with a glittered raven. Uh, these work with both pillar candles and taper candles, so that's kind of nice. They're all priced at three. There's some nice little box sets of resin figures here. Uh, these would be great, you know, to set up a little Halloween village or something. Just use them as decorative statues. Or if you want, you could use them to probably decorate tiered trays. They're just about the right size. There are three different sets here. You can either choose from one with some ghosts in it or a second set with a haunted house and a grim reaper. There's also some skulls in here. Very spooky. And the last set here has a witch with some black cats and a cauldron in it. I kind of like this one, actually. I think this is my favorite. These are all priced at five. They've got some inflatable decor here. These are four feet in height and they've got several different styles. Kids would probably like these. The skeleton is kind of cool because it glows in the dark. These are all priced at five. This is another really cool spooky item. They're very ornately framed uh, pictures. They have three designs here. One is the snake with the rose, but there's also two with skeletons here, a lady and a gentleman. Now you can hang these either on the wall or they do have easel backing, so you can display them on a tabletop if you want. I think the skeletons would look really cool kind of facing each other either way. These are all priced at three. And here's some spooky pumpkins. These kind of coordinate with those pictures we were just looking at. They're uh, similar colors and, you know, the same kind of gothic look to them. These are made of foam, I believe. They're very lightweight and they're covered in a pretty kind of velvet material along with a black uh, spiderweb lace material. They also have some little plastic spiders added to them. These are all priced at five. I have to admit, I really like this next item here. These are metal two-tiered trays in Halloween themes. They have three designs. The first one has bats on it, which personally, I really like this one. They also have a white one here with some ghosts on it. And there's a third design with some spiderweb designs on it. These are priced at five. And honestly, that's a really good deal because I've seen similar things to these at other stores and they cost a lot more than that. These are kind of nice. They're LED light up candles. They've got these really neat long flames. Uh, the flame itself lights up, but I don't think the jack-o'-lantern does, I, which is kind of disappointing, but I don't see any bulb in there, so I don't think it does. These are priced at five. 
These are another great buy. They're very large LED light up lanterns, solar powered lanterns actually. They have solar panels on the top. Now these are just made of plastic, but they do kind of look like metal. The way they're painted, they look like metal. There are two styles here. There's one that's kind of more gothic and it's got like a spider web design on it. And there's a gray colored one here with a skull and crossbones design. These are both priced at five. This is a nice outdoor decoration. It's a five foot spider web light set complete with spider. It has eight functions to it. So I'm assuming it does different flashing patterns. You can either get it in orange, purple, or white. It's five bucks. We have some new plush throws here. These all measure 50 by 60 inches. They're pretty lightweight, but uh, you know, they're nice and soft. They do feel nice, I gotta admit. We've got a few different designs here. There's a black one with a metallic spider and spider web design on it. They also have one that's kind of like a fortune telling sign theme. There's uh, little crystal balls and signs on it. And there's also a purple one here that has kind of like a sun, moon, and stars design on it. I guess it's kind of like a magic or maybe an astrology kind of theme. All of the throws are priced at five. I just found one more throw here. Now this one's kind of cute. It has little costume dogs on it. They look like they're out trick-or-treating. There's also some jack-o'-lanterns on it. This one's also priced at five. Here's a nice little crystal ball prop. Uh, now this lights up, so that's pretty cool, but it also looks kind of neat when it's not lit up because it's got this kind of rainbow finish on the globe. This is priced at five. This is pretty neat. It's a little miniature witch's cauldron that has an LED light up and misting effect to it. You basically pour water into it, you turn it on, and it lights up and starts smoking. This is priced at five bucks. We've got some very nice metal trays here. Now, uh, these would be great as decorative pieces, but they're also functional too. So, you know, you could use these at like a Halloween party or something. They'd be really great. Uh, there are three styles that I see here. They have this uh, one here with the skull and raven on it, which is pretty spooky looking. And here's the second style. This one says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus and there's a witch's cauldron with some bats on it. And the last one has a black cat on it. It says, Black Cat Apothecary Potions and Brews. Stop in for a spell. Crafting since 1693. All of the trays are priced at five. This is a nice inexpensive but uh, high impact kind of decoration, I think. It's a very big, creepy looking fuzzy spider. Uh, he measures 29 and a half inches when you pull all the legs out. Now this one's a little folded up, so you have to kind of imagine what he'd look like with all the legs pulled all the way out, how big he would really look. He's priced at three. There's some large decorations, a very creepy looking pumpkin head and ghouls. They have uh, light up eyes and sound effects. We'll try a couple out here. Okay, so the eyes light up. They're not as bright as like the doorbells were, but they're okay. Here's the pumpkin. Okay, so it looks like they've all got the same sort of sound effects to them. They're all priced at five. Here's some more signs. Now, these are really big, actually. They're 48 inches in height or four feet. That's that's huge, okay? Much bigger than any sign I think I've ever seen in the Target dollar spot. Uh, they're pretty nice, actually. You could put these up by your front door, maybe put a little pumpkin kind of display around them. They'd look pretty nice, I think. Uh, they've got several different styles. There's a, an orange and black one here with the uh, skull on it that says welcome. There's also a blue one that says the witch is in. They've got a couple black and white ones here, one that says beware and one that says haunted. These are all priced at five. And here are a couple more designs. I kind of like these just because they're kind of traditional colors, uh, orange, black, and white. Uh, one says beware and the other says trick or treat. And finally, I found this big welcome sign with this uh, cute little glitter jack-o'-lantern on it. This is actually one of my favorites. Again, these are all priced at five. They also have these really nice easel shape signs. Uh, these are a good size. You could probably display them either on a countertop or from the floor. I think it would work either way. This one I think is my favorite. It says Hocus Pocus Candy Shop, Trick or Treaters, welcome. I also really like this one too. It says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus and there's a witch hat with a broom on it. Now the next two signs here might interest those of you who like vintage or retro Halloween items. They have kind of retro styled witches on them. This is the first one. It says, I put a spell on you. And this is the second one. This one's more of a flatter illustration kind of style. But again, with the colors and the way she's drawn, it looks very retro. Uh, it says double, double toil and trouble on it. Both of these are priced at five. This is a cute decoration. It's a big black Halloween cat. He is made of tinsel over a wire frame and he's got a nice big bushy tail. His eyes are really pretty too. They're a nice kind of yellow golden color. He's priced at five. And here are some more pumpkins. Now these have those color changing sequins on them. The sequins that you can kind of uh, flip one way or the other to change the color of the item. Uh, the silver pumpkin here changes to kind of a copper color when you flip the sequins back and forth. And there's also a gold pumpkin here that changes to black. Finally, there's a black pumpkin that changes to silver. These are all priced at five. 
And here's some more string light sets. They've got uh, jack-o'-lanterns here along with the silver and gold skulls. The pumpkin's actually kind of cute. I kind of like that set. Skulls aren't bad either, but they're not quite as bright as the jack-o'-lantern. These are all priced at five. Here's one more string light set with skeletons on it. 20 skeletons to be exact. It's a seven foot string. The batteries are not included for this, unfortunately. It's priced at five. Now this is another spooky item. These are candles here, but they're what they call bleeding candles because they have red wax on the inside. So when you light these and they start to burn down, that red wax kind of pours over the side. So it kind of looks like it's bleeding. It's really creepy, really spooky. Both of the skull candles are priced at five. Here's some more of the bleeding candles. They've got all kinds of gross looking body parts. Uh, there's a heart, a rib cage, a brain, all kinds of stuff in here. Also a little ceramic witch's cauldron candle here. This one's kind of cute. And there are a couple beakers here. Now these have a, a green color on the inside that drips down. But on the end here are a couple more of the bleeding candles. Now these are tall decorative pillar candles. This one has gold metallic skeleton hands on it. Very spooky looking. And uh, this other one, this one's really amazing. It's got so much detail on it with all these silver skulls all the way around it. These are both five. These are really cool. They are serving bowls shaped like skulls with skeleton hand bases on them. Now they're just made of plastic, but these have some nice details in them. They actually do look pretty creepy, pretty spooky. They come in three colors. You can either get a silver, a black colored version, or a kind of rainbow iridescent finished version. You could also maybe use these for centerpieces or maybe turn them into planters. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of crafting possibilities for these. They're all priced at three. This is a cute fabric garland. It's uh, got candy corn shapes on it. I think it's made of burlap. It kind of looks like burlap and it's been painted. And there's the little pom-poms on it as well. It's priced at three. This is the second garland. This one has bats on it. Uh, they look like they have pom-pom bodies with silver glittery wings. This one is also priced at three. Here's some more pumpkins. Uh, these are double stacked. You're getting two for one with these. And they're plush. They're nice and soft and squishy. Except for the stem, of course. That's plastic. But the rest of it is soft. There's some nice designs on them. There's like a Harlequin pattern, some polka dots, spider web designs. These are all priced at three. These are some nice metal yard stakes. Uh, they're pretty big, actually. Unfortunately, I can't really reach them because they're on the top shelf, but hopefully you can see in the picture here what they look like. There's one that says eek with a bat and two that say boo with ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns. These are all priced at five. And here's some more metal decorations. These are tabletop signs. They kind of look like wreaths on stands, honestly. This one's got some skulls and long bones on it. It says spooktacular. I kind of want to paint in the eyes on the skulls, though. I don't know why those aren't painted. It just bothers me a little bit. I don't know. It kind of looks like it's unfinished or something, but it would be easy to fix with a little bit of black paint. There's also a second one here that says magic happens. It's kind of witch themed. It's got, you know, a witch's hat and a broom cauldron on it. These are all priced at five. We have a lot of nice Halloween doormats for five bucks. Uh, a lot of different designs. This is the first one. It says beware on it. It's got some spider webs with some plaid designs. Now the sizing on all of these is pretty good. They measure 16 by 20 inches. Here's the second design. It's a fortune teller design. It says your neighborhood fortune teller, a divine night awaits. This is a kind of cute one with a haunted house and some ghosts. It says home sweet haunted home on it. These are all priced at five. The next one here says Spooktacular. It's got a witch hat, a broom, and a bunch of stars. This one is kind of cute. It has a candy corn design on it and the words, I'm just here for the treats. And finally, here's a creepy design with a skeleton on it. It says, enter if you dare. These are all priced at five bucks. Now, if you like gnomes, they do have some large plush gnome dolls for Halloween. Uh, they're dressed up in Halloween costumes, I guess. There's a uh, witch version holding a broom in her hand. There's also a warlock with a jack-o'-lantern. There's one dressed up as a cat. He's got cat ears on his hat. And they also have one with uh, bat wings. These are all priced at three. Some more pumpkin decorations here. These are glittered stacks of three, and they have little plastic spider decorations on them. I think they're just foam, again, because they're very lightweight. These are priced at five. It's a nice large Halloween tinsel wreath. It's got some cute jack-o'-lanterns on it. Looks like there's a couple other designs here as well. These are all priced at five. A couple more light sets here. These look like large flames. Uh, there's a purple one and an orange and yellow one. These are both priced at five. And next to them, we've got some nice baking cup sets. These are large 50-piece box sets, and the, each one has a couple different designs in it. These would be great for, like, a Halloween party. They're priced at 3 bucks. Okay, these are some creepy-looking plants. They've got eyeballs growing out of them. They have uh, pumpkin bases. They come in a few different colors. There's a blue one, a black one. I think there's a red one in the back there, too. These are all priced at 3 
They've got some Halloween tablecloths here. They come in both rectangular and round shapes and several different sizes. And they've got a few different designs. You can either get jack-o'-lanterns. There's one here with some signs on it, spooky signs like apothecary labels and uh, fortune-telling signs. And there's also one with a spider web design on it. These are all priced at three. I hope you've enjoyed shopping the Halloween items at Dollar Tree Plus with me today. If you like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much.